Hello friends. Uh, so I'll be speaking on uh, corticotomy, which is a basic and initiative of Elizar of lengthening and correction technique. Yes, so that was uh, presentation has been made uh, by Dr. Divya Ahuja and Mangal sir. I'm just uh, refreshing and editing something which will be helpful for the uh, new orthopods. So it is a mainstay of Elizaro technique. The word is low energy. It should be low energy. Uh, we will use 5 mm curved periosteal elevator, sharp drill bit, sharp osteotome and location is usually metadiphysial or metaphysial is preferred when the circumstances and the you cannot be feasibly do at that level diphysial osteotomy can also be considered so this is how we do we plant uh, a metadiphysial junction at upper tibia or distal tibia and then make a vertical incision use a curved periosteal elevator and elevate the periosteum on either side medial side, lateral side, as maximum as possible to lessen the damage to the periosteum. Uh, you can see in the image, as well as the CM image, the periosteum going on the lateral side, then on the medial side. And then we use a sharp drill bit around 4.5 to 4.8 millimeter user drill sleeve and we put a multiple holes in different direction from the same two centimeter incision. You can appreciate anterior posterior, anterior to posterior medial, anterior to posterior lateral. And then use a osteotome to just break the remaining cortices. So, uh, once that is done, then we just disengage the rod and uh, opposite direction we rotate the rings that is fixed to the bone and get the corticotomy completely done. That is, you can appreciate here. Okay, the small shattering is okay. Just because the posterior cortex in tibia or also in the femur, the ridge is strong enough. Sometimes it may shatter. But make sure that it shatter loose. For that, you need to make sometimes multiple holes. Small shattering shows that your corticotomy is of low energy. If there is a large third piece and more shattering, then that, that should click in mind that uh, corticotomy is with a uh, higher thumb of the mallet or hammer. So that should not happen. That should be done as minimal as possible. So here is the video which will uh, elaborate everything which I, what I have explained till now. So that is the incision. Video courtesy by Dr. Mangal sir at CLLR Mumbai. You can appreciate the 5 mm cord osteo periosteum elevator. and elevating the medial side of a periosteum. The lateral side of periosteum. It is more of a feel Rather than actually you see, you see a soft tissue and bony fill and go between the soft tissue and the bone. And that usually should elevate the periosteum. Then you use a 
drill sleeve, 4.5 to 4.8 millimeter drill bit. Sharp drill bit is must. You can appreciate the anterior posterior drilling through the incision and the periosteum elevated side. Then once drilling is done, sharp 10 mm osteotome is used to break the remaining cortices. You need to remove in between the breakage of bone, otherwise your osteotome may engage because the bone has recoil elasticity. So go in, go out, go in, go out, take a turn. Over experience, one, do it in, one, 10, 15 minutes. You can see under the CM as well. For the osteotome that has been gone. So now you appreciate the no rods are connected and the opposite directional movement of our rings and the translation movement, you can appreciate that. Uh, shows that our vertigodon is complete. If you feel under the CM or remaining, then you just complete. So this uh, osteotome has a wrench placement over its handle. So that is useful. You can get a tra translation between the fragment at, at the osteotome side with the use of a wrench. And you can also appreciate that under the CM and clinically also you can judge yes, the segments are moving apart. And then you can reapply the rod and just the uh, skin sutures are sufficient. So this would uh, demonstrate complete the vertical the proximal tibia. Similarly, you can go at the distal tibia, proximal femur, distal femur. So yes, what we do after the osteotomy, we compress post-operatively for two to three mm because we have used a 4.5 mm drill bit. So that losses the few bone segment there in millimeters. So we compress it, we give a rest. Latent period depends on the your energy used while doing the corticotomy. Slow energy you can start after eight post-operative day for the distraction. 
a few few years i was hammering hard uh, my third there has been a third piece. then you can wait for 10 12 days you can start by 13 15 days and rhythm as we all know in proximal to your femur upper femur distal femur can be a four times a day and one mm per day if you feel high energy you can again shift shift back to 0.75 mm per day and in distal tibia as the less muscle mass and more of tendinous mass you can go with the 0.75 mm per day okay you have to appreciate serial x-ray we get it done by 15 day to show whether the distraction is being done or not and then every three weeks that shows the fluffy region red yes and that is when one need to act when you appreciate there is a 30 percent gap of total regenerated height or total length gain there is a deficiency of 30 percent length of the total uh, uh, height achieved of the region right? then you stop the distraction you may reverse for 10 15 days uh, you increase the weight bearing and then get the x-ray and see for the uh, good fluffy region right? and then you again start distraction if at all in between you feel that the fixes are there is a fixed or loss or the wire or pin has loose you exchange it with a new wire or new chance group and ensure the vitamin d and calcium supplements are uh, adequately given to the patient thank you thank you so much